In this video, we'll be taking a look at three MLB games happening on September 24, 2022, and providing you with team picks and total picks for each one of those games. So two picks for each game, six picks in total. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports. Let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released so that you have more time to plan out your bets as we provide these videos on a daily basis. I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on these three MLB MLB games after fully watching this video. One more thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive betting picks to take your sports betting journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer anywhere from one betting pick a day up to 10 betting picks a day and much more. Now let's get started. Boston Red Sox vs. New York Yankees This Saturday, the Boston Red Sox and the New York Yankees will play the third game of this four-game series. The first pitch will be thrown out inside Yankee Stadium. The last time these two teams matched up, the Yankees swept the Red Sox in a short two-game series. New York also took Game 1 of this series. The Boston Red Sox are coming into this one after splitting a two-game series with the Cincinnati Reds. The Red Sox looked great in Game 1, but they struggled at the plate in the final game. They could only score one run run, as they will need their bats to heat up in this one. The New York Yankees are entering this one after winning their two-game series against the Pittsburgh Pirates. The Yankees' bats were working, as they scored 23 combined runs in those two games. They will need their bats to stay hot if they want to defend Yankee Stadium in this one. The Red Sox are 4-1 in the last five Saturday games and 4-1 in their last five in Game 3 of a series. Boston is 17-39 in the last 56 versus the American League East. Meanwhile, the Yankees are 1-4 in their last five Saturday games and 50-19 in their last 69 at home. New York is 36-16 in their last 52 versus a team with a losing record. The Yankees have beaten the Red Sox by one run in each of the past two games, and they'll aim to pick up another win on Saturday afternoon. This game features a shaky pitching matchup between Nick Pivetta and Domingo German, so both offenses should thrive at the plate. All eyes remain on Aaron Judge as he's one home run shy of tying the American League single season season record, but the Red Sox have a chance to sneak out a win as huge road underdogs in this game. As mentioned, neither starting pitcher in today's matchup exudes much confidence. Domingo German takes the mound for New York after a couple appearances out of the bullpen, but he'll rejoin the rotation after Frankie Mont has landed on the injury list. German has a solid 3.12 earned run average, but his expected metrics reveal that he's been extremely lucky this season. His 4.04x earned run average and 4.58x FIP indicate that he's due for significant regression moving forward. Another alarming aspect in this game is how deep he'll be able to throw in this game after throwing less than two innings in his past two appearances. For Boston, Nick Pivetta has performed similar to German this season, hosting a 4.42 earned run average and 4.18x FIP. He performs better on the road, however, with a road earned run average nearly a run lower than his home earned run average. Given the familiarity between these teams and the even matchup on the mound today, Boston presents a lot of value as road underdogs. Look for them to come out motivated after two narrow losses to open the series. So the Boston Red Sox money line is our full game side pick. These are two shaky starting pitchers. Domingo German takes the mound for New York and he has a 4.04x earned run average and 4.58x FIP, so he's due for regression moving forward and that could come in this game against a dangerous Boston lineup. German has also come out of the bullpen over his last two appearances, so it's uncertain how deep he'll be able to go in this game, which means New York might have to string together some innings with their hittable middle relievers. On the other side, Boston's bullpen is one of the worst in baseball, so they won't offer much help behind Nick Pivetta. The Yankees have hit Pivetta well in their three previous matchups this season, so this should be a high-scoring game on Saturday afternoon. Over the projected total is our full game total pick. Atlanta Braves vs. Philadelphia Phillies The Atlanta Braves and the Philadelphia Phillies square off on Saturday afternoon at Citizens Bank Park in the third of a four-game set. The Braves are sending young righty Kyle Wright to the mound and is coming off a victory over the Washington Nationals where he threw six innings and allowed two runs on eight hits with a walk and seven strikeouts. The Phillies will counter with young southpaw Bailey Falter and did not factor into the decision last time out against these Atlanta Braves as he gave up a run on four hits with two walks and three strikeouts in 4.2 innings. The Braves are 24-8 in their last 32 Saturday games and 70-31 in their last 101 overall. The Phillies are 36-17 in their 
their last 53 home games and 2-5 in their last 7 overall. The under is 6-1 in Braves' last 7 overall. The under is 4-1 in Phillies' last 5 overall. The Braves are 1-5 in the last 6 meetings in Philadelphia. There's a big difference between these teams and the starting pitchers show it as Kyle Wright is 7-3 with a 3.66 earned run average and a .236 batting average against in 12 road starts while Bailey Falter is 3-2 with a 4.54 earned run average and a .263 batting average against in 9 home games right now. Looking at the pitching throughout the month of September, the Braves are currently 3rd in baseball with a 2.75 team earned run average in 19 games while the Phillies are 27th in the majors with a 4.94 team earned run average in 18 games. The Braves are 9-7 against the Phillies throughout the season. Kyle Wright has been the more consistent pitcher and the Braves don't sting together losses at all. Bailey Falter has been solid this season overall, but he has a 4.54 earned run average and .263 allowed batting average at home. I just don't see the Braves adding to this losing stretch much longer, especially as they're fighting for a division crown. So the Atlanta Braves money line is our full game side pick. Wright has been fantastic all season. In his last start, he gave up only two runs on eight hits in six innings and a win over the Nationals. This season against the Braves, Wright is 1-1 to -one with an earned run average of 2.63 and nine strikeouts in two appearances. Falter has also been solid this season, with an earned run average just over three on the season. The under is 6-0 in the Braves' last six games versus a National League East opponent and 4-0 in their last four road games. Also, the under is 3-1-1 to -one -to -one in the Phillies' last five five Saturday games and 5-2 to two in their last seven games versus a right-handed starter. Under the projected total is our full game total pick. New York Mets vs. Oakland Athletics The New York Mets and the Oakland A's meet in MLB action from Oakland Coliseum on Saturday. New York is 8-2 in their last 10 Saturday games and 4-1 in their last 5 road games, while the over is 5-0 in their last 5 games against a team with a left-handed starter. Oakland is 21-47 in their last 68 home games and 6-14 in their last 20 games overall, while the over is 4-1 in their last 5 interleague games. Looking at the month of September, there is a huge difference in these starting pitchers as Jacob deGrom is 1-1 with a 3 earned run average and a .188 batting average against in 3 starts while Ken Waldachuk is 0-2 with a 7.13 earned run average and a .284 batting average against in 4 starts thus far. These offenses have been on two different levels in the power stroke as New York is 15th in the sport with 155 homers while Oakland is currently 28th in the majors with just 126 home runs as a team. The Mets have won in 10 of the previous 14 games against each other. There's nothing the Oakland Athletics can do with DeGrom in this matchup, so the New York Mets to win and cover the spread as favorites is our full game side pick. Looking at the previous few weeks, both offenses have been doing well as New York is averaging 5.08 runs in their last 13 games while Oakland is scoring 4.42 runs in their previous 12 games. These bullpens have been giving up a decent amount of runs throughout the season as the Mets are 10th in the sport with a 3.59 reliever earned run average while the Athletics are currently 24th in the majors with a 4.42 bullpen earned run average up to this point. The over has hit in six of the last seven games against one another. I expect Ken Waldachuk to get hit around a little bit, but I also don't expect Jacob deGrom to get out fully unscathed. I think this one finishes closer to eight or nine runs. Over the projected total is our full game total pick. That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyzed. Subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video, whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.